dealing with a lot of people. Ang daming fields sa psychology. Mental health disorders, when you talk about anxiety, depression. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, your friend, our friend, beer friend. Wow. So for today guys, as you can see from the title of this video, I will be discussing reasons why you should take up psychology. So for those of you who are new to my channel, hello, my name is Bea and I recently graduated from the University of Santo Tomas. Yes, very proud tayo. So I want to share my experience, of course, bakit very interesting and bakit wala akong regrets when I took up psychology. So hopefully, ma-inspire din kayo na masaya dito sa site. So ngayon, didiscuss natin bakit mo dapat kunin ang psychology. So reason number one, psychology offers various employment opportunities. So when you take up psych, it could be used as a pre-medicine if you want to take up medicine or want to become a medical doctor. <laughs> Madaming psych students ginagamit na stepping stone ang psych in order for it to be their pre-medicine course. It could also be used as a pre-law. Yung mga may plano mag take up ng law or who wants to be lawyers. Listen, look, and listen, and learn. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have a lot of classmates who went up to med and who went up to law and the common ground is they are all psychology majors. Psychology is, it has three branches. So it could be industrial psychology, clinical psychology, and educational psychology. So from those three branches, pwedeng pwede kang pumunta to different employment opportunities depending on where you think na you fit. And malalaman nyo naman to sa internship nyo during fourth year of college. Sa industrial psychology, so when you talk about industrial psychology, ito yung you will be working with companies or mostly sa human resource department. Human resources department? Human resources department? Employment training, recruitment, uh, selection, or welfare of your employees. But clinical psychology naman, it's more of people who deal or practice psychology talaga. Sila may mga patients, may mga clients, ganun. And usually, they take up masters or PhD. I don't know why. When you take masters, of course, you go to graduate school para mo may degree na yon. Educational psychology, so these are psych majors who go to the academe or they want to be professors teaching psychology or guidance counselors who help out sa university. 40,000 yung average wow. na salary per month ng isang psychologist. But it also depends kasi some companies, they offer a higher pay or a lower pay. So it depends. Second reason is that psychology is everywhere. Guys, when you talk about psychology, you will be literally dealing with humans, people. And every day, hello, no man is an island. Lagi mo makakasalumuha yung mga tao. We are together. Very interesting ang psych kasi ma-apply mo talaga yung mga natutunan mo sa classroom. To your friends, to your family, even to strangers. An example of this would be conformity. Conformity basically is it's a social influence wherein a pressure ka sa group. So basically, it's peer pressure. So magko conform ka ba? Yung ginawa namin ng friends ko, tinais namin yung conformity na naglalakad kami ng group of friends ko, and then lahat kami tumingin sa taas kami ng group ko, and then yung mga tao around us tumingin uh -huh. din sa taas. <laughs> conformity. Another thing is malalir nyo what? in college is theories of personality. May tindihan nyo bakit iba iba ba tayo ng ugali? Bakit tayo gento? Bakit ganun ba yung kaibigan ko? So many questions. But ganun ba yung girlfriend ko or boyfriend ko? It's because we are brought up differently and there are a lot of theories on why we have this kind of personality. So madidiscuss nyo yan sa side. And it really helps kung magaling yung professor mo. Sir Mark, if you're listening, I love you. Third reason, wow, naging six. <laughs> Third reason is that psychology is a science. Guys, yung mga psychology says na yan, tapon yun na yan sa mga fake news na yan. Sobrang nakaka-stress talaga yung mga nakita ko na. Psychology says, saan ang galing yun? Gusto ko sumabog, magsabihin ng mga masamang. Debunk. Debunk yung mga myths na yan. X eliminated. Psychology is a science. Listen, look, and listen, and learn. <laughs> It means, meron 
tayong evidence based meron tayong right way and process of doing everything from collecting data dapat valid and reliable yung mga tests malalaman niyo yan sa psychological assessment and sa test construction ng mga subjects niyo in college may way of organizing and collecting data that is very acceptable to the science community because psychology you're going to study about the brain, you're going to study about how people behave. Yun yung data na kukunin mo yung behavior nila. Yes, 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 yes. yes. What no, 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 no. Since psychology is a science, dapat when you collect data, may pang measure ka, may pang kalika ng data. That's why we have tests. Kaya tayo mga personality tests, IQ tests, mga tests, mas mga psychological assessment. It's because we are following these set of rules. May process talaga lahat yan. Evidence-based ang psychology. So lahat tayo may bilang gagalingan na research and data whenever we talk about psychology. Sa thesis, hindi mo pwede sabihin na psychology says, sasabihin sa'yo ng prof mo, asan iha yung article? Hindi, wala na. Finish na. Fourth reason is that psychology has many different fields. Guys, sobrang interesting ng psychology and isipin nyo, onti lang yung psychologist sa Pilipinas. And the thing is, ang daming fields sa psychology. Addiction psychology, if you're treating those who are having problems with their substance abuse. What else? Consumer psychology sa marketing. Pwede kang i-hire ng mga companies in terms of trying to sell their product. Parang tatanong ka nila, o oh, paano ba namin magbibenta to? Or you could be a forensic psychologist wherein you will be invited sa court to analyze and assess and give your findings to the court and present it. Na, as a forensic psychologist, ito yung nakita kong findings. This is what I can say. Even cyber psychology. Wow. For sure, magbuboom yung cyber psychology kasi we're still in the middle of a pandemic and then everyone's mental health is being affected. And the life there is very sad. And we are all online. Ang gapo na, Wanda. And our behavior online, it affects the way we think and behave. And guys, in thesis namin, for kulang, our thesis is all about narcissism and selfie behavior. Basically, yung relationship ng narcissism and selfie behavior in assess namin. So interesting then yung psychology because you get to conduct your own research when you are in your fourth year because of the thesis. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Na, thank God I passed that and I'm over it. Inasaludo ang kita. Hey! <laughs> Good luck pala sa mga Fifth, last, but definitely not the least, is psychology is a helping profession. The thing that I like most about psychology is that I can use it for myself, for the people that I love, and for other people, for clients, for patients. It's a profession that really is service-oriented. With great power comes great responsibility. You will be dealing with a lot of people, and of course, ikaw yung knowledgeable, ikaw yung may alam on how to deal with mental health disorders, when you talk about anxiety, depression, ten, 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 ten. Ikaw yung armored pagdating sa mga information na ganun. Kaya nga, pag sa college, bubombahan ka ng madami information. Mm. Sobrang hindi ko rin itinian bakit sobrang dami information na kailangan malaman. Pero ngayon, now that I'm out in the real world, and nakita ko na a lot of people have been reaching out, messaging me whenever they are dealing with their own mental health, it really is very helpful that you know what to do. May mga right way of doing things talaga. And of course, even from the way we talk and listen to someone who is in need of comfort, it's really important that you are well aware and that you know what to do, especially pag may mga emergency situations. An example of this would be, may nagpapanik attack, alam mo ba kung anong gagawin? As a psych major, dapat aware ka kung anong gagawin. For someone who is having suicidal ideation, you don't have to know everything, but at least you know what the right thing to do is. Because as a psych major, dapat alam mo yan. I just like to point out that psychology it's not just about giving advice. Because they think that if you're a psychologist, ka, at ako pigay lang yan ng tips ng advice. No, 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 no. Kat ko correct lang natin yung notion na yun. Because when it comes to therapy, there's different kinds of therapy. But at the end of the day, what's beneficial for the client? Yun yung importante. Dami talaga reasons why you should take up psychology, but those are just some of the reasons that I think make psychology very interesting. And I do hope may natutunan kayo sa mga pinagsasabi ko. And comment down below kung mayroon pa kayo mga questions or interesting knowledge about psychology. Any comment is welcome, guys. And thank you, thank you sa new subscribers ko. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being a friend. And hopefully, 
sa mga aspiring psych students dyan, sana hindi kayo mawala ng loob kasi hindi mo naman kailangan maging sobrang galing para maging psych major. You just have to really want it. And yun, other than that, basta gusto mo, kayang-kaya mo yung psychology major. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and be a friend and subscribe.